Cafex, acts of vengeance leading to an act of vengeance. In the late 80s, there was a crossover event at Marvel called Acts of Vengeance, in which a team of supervillains all teamed up together and fought each other's heroes in order to present more of a challenge to the heroes. Although this was coordinated by Loki, and two of the people that we're going to talk about it today that were invited to this team up were the Red Skull and Magneto. Magneto was not happy to learn that the Red Skull was the original Red Skull. In case you didn't know, Magneto was a victim of the Holocaust. He and his family were put in a concentration camp. So meeting the Red Skull, who was a prominent member of the Nazi party, led to some conflict. This eventually led to Magneto attacking, later capturing and imprisoning the Red Skull in a pit in the ground with no water and no light for I can't even remember how long. I'm not generally a fan of vengeance storylines. You know, I think that's one of the reasons why I like Captain America. He tries to be just and kind even to his enemies. But I gotta say, this one was kind of satisfying. 